Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can actually find an object that's in an array stored in a cookie. It actually doesn't have to be in a cookie. This video will be useful for either way. But if you think it being in a cookie is more complicated, this video is also for you. So finding a value, uh, sorry, finding an object in an array stored in a cookie, finding it by its value. That's what I meant. So, right here, if uh, just to have a brief catch you up with what lines you really should need to be looking at, as this is for uh, a little shopping website I'm making here, a little tiny thing here. So, I'm gonna reset the cookies because uh, my cookies here, just so it makes sense to you guys when we run it. So back in here. I have a simple get cookie function, which you can find pretty much anywhere online. W3Schools has it, you know, do whatever. So, you know, simple get cookie and create cookie functions. Very, very basic. Find it online anyway. So, uh, let cart equals cookie. So I'm getting the cookie by the name that I've given it when it was created initially. So just so you know, that's what cart is. Cart is my, my cookie. So... My cookie data variable here is actually, well, it's actually a list. This is an array right here. And I'm using JSON to parse it, so it's no longer a string, obviously. So given that information, let's move on to 177. So this is where I actually create the object I'm trying to find by the value that is in the array in a cookie. So given that cookie data is now all my list of objects because it's from the cookie. So I'm using dot find, which is a method inside of the JavaScript library. And what you do is you pass a function. So you give it whatever name you want, but you, this is gonna be the name of the function you're making. So clearly right here, here it is. You know, name whatever you want, product. So product, because I'm, again, it's like a little shopping website. So I'm going here and when you return the value, because that's what it's gonna use to actually flip through the entire shopping list, or, well, list, mine's a shopping list, <laughs> and so it finds the item, as I've written in my little comment here. So, you know, three equal signs, comparison, JavaScript syntax. So, product.name, because it's a list of objects, you can, this is what we're doing, and new item. What I did here was new item.name, actually, I had to make that global for it to work, but, you know, I don't know what you guys are doing in your program, so you might have to do that, but that's what I did. And... Therefore, it worked. So to prove that it works, I guess, you know, should be, oh, that's not right. Um, I'm going to pr print it out right here. So this code will actually run when, like, you've added more than one item in your cart. So just so you know, this is why we're, I'm going to have to click it twice for that code to actually run, just because of where I placed it. So to prove that it finds the object in the list in the cookie by the value, clearly, I added peanut butter oats twice and what popped up peanut butter crunchy oats because uh, this is what it's taking from by the way and to prove that it really works i guess you should do it more than once right beef and cheese chicken turkey bison and you get it right so if you have any questions if i went too fast i'm sure you can just rewind the video right um pretty simple stuff just using dot find and make this a function and if it needs to do what it do. Like I, I did another one over here for finding the index. Oh boy, where did I go? Oh, here we go. Find index. So I had to make one for there. You know, if statement, you know, you do whatever you want. Just you have to write it to return what you need it to return. You know what I'm saying? So any questions, comments, concerns, that's what the comments section is for. If you have any uh, recommendations for videos, for things you don't know how to do, that's why I'm here. Let me know. I always hit read them so have fun in your programming